Those of you with long memories might remember how back in the dark days of 2012, Microids announced that work had begun on Siberia 3, the latest iteration in the point and click adventure series. And now in 2016, we now have a release date as well as a new trailer, which we'll be playing in this video and linked below as always, as well as a few other details. Now this obviously isn't the longest time we've waited for a release date, but it's it's still a pretty long time. The game will begin, however, with Kate Walker's rescue by the Yukul, or Yokel, depending on pronunciation, the nomadic people that she encountered in Siberia 2. After that she decides to help them and stay ahead of their common enemy, as they accompany the snow ostriches on their migration to the Holy Steps. Now that kind of sounds like something you might watch on the National Geographic, but... Microids have said that Siberia 3 will be her quote, most dangerous and wonderful adventure yet. It will also be the very first in game in the series to be fully rendered in 3D and will once feature, once again rather feature, the musical stylings of the composer Ainon Zur, who did music for Siberia 2 back in 2004 and has more recently done things for Fallout 4, Dragon's Dogma and Dragon Age 2. I have also linked the Steam page in the description below as there are a few screenshots there. But last things last, the release date for this game is December the 1st. So after a long, long time of waiting, you will finally get the Siberia 3 in December. A pretty nice early Christmas present for those of you who had fond memories of the game, which of course came out quite some time ago now, the last iteration as it was indeed in 2004, which is crazy. So, that's probably some surprising and rather happy news for fans of the series. I myself have actually never played it, but uh, it looks interesting judging from the screenshots and uh, maybe I'll go back and play the old games, assuming that you can even get them to run on modern systems, as I'm always looking on, on the lookout rather for more point and click adventure games to play in, given that this is getting a full 3D rendering, it might be worth playing to fully enjoy the story of Siberia 3. But regardless of all that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.